Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. Doing an oldie but goodie. This is the uh, Conquistador Paracord Bracelet. It's a four pass version, if you want to call it that. And uh, yeah, love the way this one turned out. Always wanted to make one of these, so I figured why not bring you guys along, right? So um, yeah, I love the way this one looks because it's a little different if you've never, you know, seen a video on how to do one of these. It's almost like you're knitting, kind of, but you know, you're essentially weaving, but yeah, you know what I mean. But anyways, uh, this one turned out great. I love the way it looks. And uh, I will preface the video with the fact that I kind of ran out of paracord for a little bit. And um, I had to kind of stretch this bracelet out just a little bit because I should have used a little more. If you want this bracelet to be uh, very tightly woven, use a little more paracord than I did. Um, but if not, if you don't mind stretching it out a little bit, making it a little more flexible, um, you can use the measurements that I went with. All right, so uh, and also guys, remember if you're looking for where to get paracord and whatnot, all the tools I use in the video, uh, check out those affiliate links down below because when you chop through those, you're helping out the channel greatly. All right, so that being said, guys, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so I got my paracord ready here and uh, I've got about 13 feet. So hopefully that's enough. And I believe for this formula, if you're doing a, about a one inch by one inch square of this weave, we'll do about, or we'll require about 1.5 feet. So that's a very rough ratio. So um, let's start off with this end. I've got one end flattened off. I want a section maybe oh, six or seven inches. Let's do about that much. Okay, so you're going to start off. This is the presentation side of the bracelet. I'm going to push this through here, through the back. And now I'm going to do a four loop uh, conquistador. You can do three. Um, this is about a half inch buckle and um, three loops will be easy. Four might be a little bit hard to squeeze through, but um, it'll work. Okay, right? so let's go once through and let's go again. Second time through. Go again. Like that. So now we're gonna have to push down on the paracord a bit. Like so. Just doing the same thing. I'm just going through the back. This one is a little bit more of a struggle. Let's take that off. Okay, that's the third loop, like so. Now I want to do a fourth loop, and to make it easier, I'm just going to use my FID to push it through. All right, got that through. So that was definitely a struggle because this buckle is pretty small, so if you don't want to struggle like me, how I always do, use a larger buckle, all right? So I'm just going to shove my FID through here and widen these loops you want them nice and even so you see i've got the four loops there now this is long enough you can just put this through here so but what you want to do now is take see how there's a gap in between here i'm going to use my hemostats i'm going to grab this cord here if you have enough cord you can just use your fid but i grab this Pull, pull this straight through. See, like that, straight through those loops you made. Okay, pull that tight. There we go. So now, from this position, we are ready to start um, kind of weaving. Okay, so bumped up the ISO a bit, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. No, not the ideal color, but if I make it in any other color, I'm probably not going to wear it. So let's go. Uh, I've got my paracord on a FID. So now we're going to start looping our paracord through. So starting off, you want to go through the top loop here. You want to go from up top, right? So insert your FID here. go through here right now key key thing is go above the paracord when you're going in from up top so don't 
bring it down here, bring it through here like that. Okay. So this is our first loop. And my paracord is tangled up. Sorry about that. Haven't done anything special yet, just pulling all the paracord through. Okay, so move that loop up there. And that's the first one. Now, we're going to continue the same step. Second loop. Now I've got these loops going pretty tight because I like the look of the tighter weave. But if you can make this, you can make this looser if you want. It'll look different and it'll probably use less paracord. Okay, so got that through this loop. Bring that through. Now remember, go above it. Do not go down here, go through here. Right? Oh, geez. Paracord is getting caught everywhere. Sorry, guys. These tutorials are never as easy as they seem. Then again, I don't know if it seems easy to you guys, but we'll see. Okay, so pulling this through. Here we go, second loop. So let's continue again. I'm gonna widen these guys a little bit just because they're getting a little too tight. Okay, so that's the second loop. Now let's go through the third, right? Go through there, bring the paracord through, and remember, go above the cord. All right, there we go. Let's do the third, or sorry, fourth loop. Remember, up top, and go above. Okay, so that is the first pass. Now we can from here start the second pass. So we went up this way in the first pass, second pass. We're now going down this way, right? And it's kind of like opposites. We were weaving through this way, going up. Now as we're coming down, we're gonna go up this way. So through through the loop this on this side, kind of um, facing away from you. And also we were above the cord last time. This time we have to go under the cord. So you want to go like that. Okay. So pull that through. Okay, so that's one. Let's do the next one. Then we're going away from us. You want to go underneath the cord like that. Okay, second knot, let's continue, third, we're going to go away from you and underneath the rope. Now for the last knot, the second pass. There we go, same thing, underneath, to away from you, and underneath the rope. So that's the second pass, and now we're back where we started. You can guess what we're gonna do now. Um, we're just going to repeat the process, right? So remember, um, when we were going up, it was going up this way, so now we're going down. We go above, and above the rope there, like that, right? So just continue the process, right? You've just done the first two passes, just keep repeating, going up and down, up and down. So you can see why this uh, pattern can get a little time consuming. All right, so that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna continue this pattern from the top and above. and continue to create your desired length of the bracelet. So make that all the way to the other side and then we will 
figure out how to uh, close it off. Okay, we are coming down to the end here. And um, I ran a little short, so be aware of that if you want to make a really nice, tightly woven uh, bracelet. But I was able to just kind of pull on the bracelet. You see how there's a bit of give to it? So that extended my length just a little bit. So I will adjust the uh, measurements in the beginning of the video, of course. So let's attach this to the buckle now. So you're just going to continue as it is. Um, so we're going up this way and we're coming kind of back this way and going through. So now we're just going to incorporate the buckle with that. Okay, so I'm not going to use a fit because it's going to be a result of me taking the fit on and off a lot. So let's bring this through here like so. Right now I'm going to use my hemostats actually. Be a lot easier. So you see you're supposed to go in here now, right? So let's put our hemostats through here. And pull that through like so. See, now we're just going to continue that pattern. Now we're going to go back through the buckle again, like that. And now we're going to go through this loop here. So just continue doing that all the way down. And last but not least, the last loop here. Well, I forgot to mention, you'll need about seven to eight inches. Oh, jeez. You'll need about seven to eight inches of uh, paracord to finish off this last buckle part. So if you see yourself running low like I am, um, just be aware of that. So as I continue to struggle, there we go. Oh, man. Okay, awesome. So now, see how we've got the, the four loops here? We're going to do exactly as we did up top over here, right? We're going to can bring our hemostats through here. Let's do this. There we go. Like that. And of course, if you have enough paracord, you can do this with a fid. But I do not because I make poor decisions. There we go. Yeah, I should have used a little more paracord, but anyways. It works out and it still does fit me. Thank the paracord gods for that. All right, done. So let's uh, snip and singe that little bit of excess there and that little bit there and we are finished. Okay, and there we have it, we're done. Excess paracord has been snipped and singed right there and there. And overall, this one turned out pretty well. Um, I did have to stretch my paracord a little bit. So um, of course, yeah, just, yeah, better safe than sorry sometimes. Give yourself a little extra paracord, but this one turned out fine and it still does fit me. Don't mind the little injury I had right there. I accidentally snagged the paracord with the fid there, so I had to melt that little fray down. But anyways, here it is guys, the Conquistador paracord bracelet. Love the way this one turned out. I love how it's simple, but at the same time it's not. You know, it has that very nice woven pattern, so I love it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you're looking for where to get Paracord, check out my affiliate links down below because when you shop through those, you're helping out this channel greatly. You're helping the channel go on and do uh, good things, all right? So thank you so much for your support, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.